Team Brazil, how was your first day at Sonoma Raceway? It was fun. I think we needed it this day to. It's the first day on the road course. We've done, you know, Sebring a couple of times, but, uh, you know, today, this place is tricky, right? We come here, especially this is the last race of the year. So you come here, try to think you're going to learn something until September, and during the year, you make your car better. So for us, we use today just to get the team going, you know, making sure that all the electronics are new. Yeah. We're trying to make the electronics to work, but this place is always fun to be, you know, new yeah, car. And, uh, I was impressed with the straight line speed, especially that, you know, this track was the most fresh yeah, yeah. in my mind yeah. from the old car and uh, it was fun. Mateus, and I know the team wants us to call you Matt, but I knew you in lights as Mateus, so that's yeah. what I'm going with here. Uh, uh, Mateus, tell me about your first day here. You mentioned that you've driven this track before, but in virtual terms. Yeah, right. Yeah. And tell me about seeing this crowd turning out for just a one-day test. Yeah, it was pretty good, man. I think uh, every time I'm in the car, I'm getting more comfortable, so which is good. The team and Tony are supporting me a lot, so they are helping me a lot. And it uh, has been great, man. The, the track was a bit slippery in the beginning, but later on, we could tell the grip and uh you've never driven on sheep crap before no first time <laughs> but rookie welcome to indycar <laughs> well, that's what i told him today <laughs> but yeah man the, the track's awesome it's uh there are a lot of blind cars which is tricky but yeah one more track on the list and uh looking forward to the season tony you came into this knowing this wasn't going to be a championship beating year one type program there's a lot of work going on here to move this team up the grid. Is that something you keep in your mind after each test? How are we doing? Where are we going? Or is it too early to start thinking no, in those terms? No, 100%. I mean, every end of the test, I sit down with Eric, with Cowden, and uh, George, and Larry, We and we assess the things that I think we all need to, what we did good and yeah. what we did bad. And I think it's, you know, you said it right. We're building it, and uh, it's not going to be from one day to the other that we're going to make this thing the way we want it to be. But you now every test we're assessing the the pros and the cons and what we need to make it better. The guys are getting a lot better. I mean, this is a good, good group of guys. Mm. So we just need to we need to keep pushing. Wow. Everybody else is too, so. <laughs> so we found out today that Pietro Fittipaldi is going to be in the coin car for oh, at so least seven, race, seven wow. races. Nice. Uh, Zachary Clayman DeMel is going to be in for 10. So it's going to be, you know, pretty, pretty solid Three there. Brazilians. That's what I wanted to ask about. At the end of last year, we got rid of that other old fart, Castro. I've, almost, I've already forgotten his Who? name. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but we got this kid in. How's it feel, uh, Mateus, to know that at least in terms of this IndyCar tradition, it's actually going stronger than it was in the last year? Yeah, it feels great, man. I know Pieta from some years ago. We used to we did some races together, and he's a very fast guy. So I think one more Brazilian coming with me. And uh, hopefully we're going to keep the, tra the tradition and uh, hopefully one day we're going to be in the car champions as well as Tony and Elio. So. You know what's funny? I was already racing in IndyCar and they were not even born yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have one really important question to close. So with COIN, with that car, we're going to have a Brazilian and a Canadian in it. So now it's three Brazilians. And with Team Canada over there at Schmidt, it's three Canadians as well. It's what on. kind of hashtag war can we get going? Do they stand any chance? Brazil versus Canada. Let's see who wins at the end of the year. Average of three. You're going down, you little Maple Leaf SOBs. Hinch, you can dance, but we're going to beat you.